All right, so now that Deccan is seemingly down for the count at the moment, I want to ask a question. Horty or Deccan, which villain do you prefer within Fishman Island? All right, so this particular episode, there was a couple different problems here or there, but there was some cool moments, and it was definitely a good setup for what's to come within the next week, I believe. All right, so basically, uh, one of the problems I had with the episode was that it's called Luffy versus Horty, but there literally is no Luffy versus Horty. I believe Luffy uses one attack on him, electrocutes him. There was, like, the first few minutes of the episode, there was interaction between the two, but then the most part, it cuts to what's going on in the island with Watsusume, and for the most part, it was just really a, a setup for next week where we're going to start the one-on-ones, which a lot of people were anticipating. So if you uh been holding off and you wanted to see my thoughts and any um of what's to come within the next couple weeks, definitely tune in next week because there's going to be one-on-one -on -one battles. And I can't wait to see that because that's probably some of the best stuff within this arc. So look forward to that. Um, another thing, the animation was just there, there, nothing to write home about or anything like that. It was okay. Uh, some of the real good parts that I really did like was Zoro. He always gets the best one-liners. That's what I love about Zoro. He always gets the best ones. Like, he is just, like, telling people you need more training, you, you, you're weak. I was just like, yo, Zoro just comes in and he just, like, dominates. And then at the very end, the way the episode ends, just Zoro for the win, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the the part with Horty and Deccan was, oh, a, another gripe I guess I have about this compared to the manga. I actually just looked at it. It was censored, uh, the uh, part where Deccan gets, you know, slashed by that big axe or whatever. It, it was censored, and literally you don't even see a hole, you don't see blood or anything, and the anime just falls down to the deck. So I was like, I mean, I understand now one piece is very big and they gotta like tone it down a little bit for the kitties, but come on. You could have had a little hole in the back end, a, a shirt ripped or something. Come on. Um, you know, in the manga, he was cut really badly, so, or semi badly anyway, so I was just like, um, that could have been fixed a little bit, you know, something like that. And overall, the uh, pacing, once again, I noticed, like, I literally had the manga chapters in front of me. I was reading it going page by page. And, um, um, not chapters, chapter. And they do add a lot of little filler scenes. Like, for example, when Hiozo uh, got his power up and he looked, like, all drunk, they added a lot of uh, little filler scenes of him chopping uh, different fishmen left and right. Um, it was pretty cool to see, and I like little fillers like that when it's, like, little badass moments to show and to make the, the threat seemed more realistic because Hiozo in the manga, I never really felt like any of the fishmen were a threat in the manga, and I guess that's something that the anime is doing right in a way, but at the same time, is misportraying the characters as well because in the manga, for the most part, everyone on Fishman Island was just meh. Nobody was really a big threat, and the anime is definitely misportraying them in a way, but it, to me, it makes it more awesome because even though it's not exactly as true as you got the feeling when you read the manga, it still, to me, makes them more badass and makes the arc overall more enjoyable because it's like, oh, okay, you know, it's not just a complete teardown, you know. Horty Jones, although he's not, like, really doing too much to anime, just everything about it, the look, the feel, the way he moves, everything about it really gives it more of a uh, believable threat rather than just, you know, loopy punch, bam, you're down, this and that. So, you know, I, I like that the anime is doing that a lot, especially, um, with Hiozo as well, like, it really made him look like a credible threat, because he's just slicing, he's like, I'm gonna be the number one swordsman, and, you know, you, like, Horty messed up the first time when he said that about being the Pirate King, and now Hiozo messed up saying about being a swordsman, or I believe it was, it was either Hiozo or the guy that Zoro fought before Hiozo, and he slashed him down, but either way, Zoro's gonna be number one, we all know this, and, um, yeah, I, I, I thought it was an okay setup for, uh, what's to come, I think it was, the title was just like, uh, how is it Luffy versus Horty, and we don't even, uh, get much of it we just get a little scrap here or there which is what we've been getting for the most part but um it was still enjoyable love seeing robin nami swan robin swan <laughs> uh, definitely some funny stuff uh, with uh, chopper and usopp as well that was uh pretty hilarious i love the facial reactions they do in the animation uh in the uh, anime it's like you see uh them they look real goofy like almost like it was like some goofy or or Mickey Mouse, just crazy reactions, and I love it. Chopper, hilarious. And they, they didn't even do much. It was just a couple of little scenes with them, but definitely every time there's a little Chopper scene, I love it. Hilarious stuff. And overall, yeah, it was mostly a setup episode. Look forward to the next few weeks because that's when the one-on-ones are starting, and um, you don't want to miss those because those are pretty good. Uh, overall thoughts of the episode? Again, good setup. Let me know what you thought of it. Again, I'll reinstate it. Horty Jones or Vander Decken? Which one do you prefer after seeing Decken get decked down to the bottom of the deck? <laughs> uh, that's all I have for this review. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up that we're getting the uh, one on one starting next week because I can't wait for them. I'm for Neville World, and as always, people, have an awesome day.